fellow speech class, Martin Luther King, Winston Churchill, Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela. All these men had many different values and strive for different goals, yet they all shared at least one thing in common. And that was their amazing ability to speak to an audience. Speech and giving speeches is an extremely valuable asset that I believe everyone can learn. Today, I will show you how to effectively prepare, practice, and ultimately perform a speech. So the first step is gonna come in preparation. The preparation stage consists of two main things. The first thing, or to be more specific, the first step is going to be the brainstorming. Brainstorming is more than just jotting down ideas. Brainstorming is figuring out what you wanna say, why you wanna say it, and ultimately the whole purpose of this speech. For this example, I'm gonna be using something that we all relate to, the demonstration speech. The demonstration speech is something that we were all assigned to do this week. For this particular speech, and for most speeches you're gonna give, the why falls into your lap. The purpose of this speech is to fulfill an assignment. You're doing it because you have to. The hard step is gonna come in what. So to choose what, you wanna write your ideas down and one by one, try them out, see their pros and cons, see how you feel about them, and experiment. This is really the step where you want to figure out and you want to lean on something. So do not be afraid to just try it out, go out there and do it. After you choose your topic and you choose your topic concretely, you're going to want to actually set it in stone through the outline step. The outline step is going to allow your ideas to be organized and allow yourself to have that extra edge when you're actually out there performing. The outline normally consists of four, four to five main parts, depending on how you want to look at it. The first part is the introduction. The introduction, you want to hook your audience in and you want to give your purpose of why you're giving this speech. The next is going to be your main points. Your main points consist of three normally, all backed up with evidence. You can go more in depth and add more points as you feel fit, but you know you want to keep it simple most of the time. The conclusion is going to be essentially your intro just reworked and reset and restated, but you do want to leave your audience with a powerful you know, ending to your speech. So you have your topic chosen, you have your outline written, and now comes down to practice. The first kind of practice you're gonna to wanna to do is solo practice. Solo practice has many pros with some downsides. The first pro is that you can do this as much as you want. You can practice all day because you're not relying on anyone to listen to you. You really have a lot of freedom and a lot of you know ability to just go in there and practice over and over again. After you do your solo practice comes down to rehearsals. Rehearsals are gonna be where you practice in front of an audience. These have cons, but the cons really lead into pros. The cons are you have people in front of you now. People are listening to every word you say. People are judging you. People are you know there. And that's going to make you a little bit nervous. But at the same time, you want that. This is the whole purpose of the rehearsal. You're going to want to kind of get those nerves out. You're going to want to see how it actually is when you're up there in front of people and when you're actually performing. These two steps are very, very important and without these you're never going to reach the next level of speech giving especially that second one that rehearsal step is very easy to miss and it's very important to take your speeches to the next level you prepared you practiced now it's time for you to perform performance is a step within itself and there are many things you can do to lead into that performance to make sure you're doing it the best you can the first thing is going to be to focus on your physical form, your body. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are in a homeostasis and your body is healthy, right? You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're sleeping well. You're gonna make sure that you're eating well. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're aware of your anxieties and you're dealing with them appropriately. There are many things you can do, such as drinking tea, exercising, or even chewing gum. These are all things you wanna keep in count and you wanna be aware of your body. The second thing is gonna be the actual performance itself. You don't wanna go up there and just focus on what you're saying. You wanna Go ahead and be free. Express yourself however you want to and really go out there and tell people 
what you want to say through everything that you do, not just through your words. It's really important that you focus on this because too many people go up there and they think about what their hands are doing. They think about, you know, trying to keep the most perfect straight face. Everything you do is part of your speech and you want to embrace that if you want to perform at your best. And there you go. You did it. You gave your speech. Maybe not yet. But with these steps, you can ensure that when you do, you're doing it at the best of your ability. I believe that anyone in this world can learn to give powerful speeches and influence the world however they see fit. It's the beauty of it.